Hello and welcome to a very special release day episode of Blaster Cated Painting. Today we'll be painting Diam Diam Daimyo Daim Daimyo Boba Fett Dami Diamyo. I don't know how to say it. I've watched the show and I still don't know how to say it. We're painting Boba Fett. So the new Boba Fett miniature for Star Wars Legion comes out today. It is uh, old man Boba Fett when he's an older man. And just so you know, we picked up this miniature at Tabletop Renaissance. It is a great local store here in Southern Ontario. I will put a link in the description below to it. Check them out. So we're going to paint that right now. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to give him a black spray and then a Zenithal white from above. And I used the AK Interactive White Primer on this one. It turned out pretty good. And we're going to move on to Grave Lord Grey. And this is going to go on all of his clothing parts. So uh, I looked at a lot of reference photos and um, mostly from the Sideshow Toys. And this is all over the bodysuit, the boots, the gloves, everything that isn't armor pieces. We are also going to put this in his visor. Now, to do the green armor, I really had to kind of mix my own color. Um, it's not perfect, but it's pretty close. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, as you'll see. But, uh, yeah, it took a lot of playing around and figuring out. So we took some wolf gray, some scurvy green, and some sick green. And we mixed those together with a little bit of the wolf gray. And we got this sort of pale, off color green. This is going to go on all the armor bits on the helmet here, also the chest piece, and it's also going to go all over the jetpack. Next, we're going to take some Antares Red, and this is going to go on the uh, faceplate of his visor and also on his wrist bracers slash gauntlet things. Just a note about me, I prefer the armor color in Empire Strikes Back as opposed to the armor color in Return of the Jedi. His gauntlets changed colors uh, from green to red, and uh, I preferred the green. Anyway, next we're going to move on to Sun Yellow. Now this is going to go on the shoulder pads and the knee pads. It's also going to be used on some of the highlight areas of the jetpack. So around the um, actual jets, there's a ring of yellow. And on the top of the two jets on the side, there's a little bit of yellow. And also there's one ring at the top on the rocket. Next, I'm going to take some Pox Walker shade here, and this is going to go all over everything we just painted green. Then we're going to switch to Carolberg Crimson, and this is going to go over everything we painted red. Then we're going to take some Fugan Orange and following the pattern, this is going over everything we painted yellow. <clears throat> now we're going to take some more of that Wolf Gray and add it to that armor mix that we already had. And this is going just as a highlight onto the armor. All those spots that we already did, we're going to go over it with this green. So just leave some of that original green in the recesses and we're good to go. Then we're going to take some dead flesh and we're going to mix that into the green. And this will be the final highlight color we're going to use on the armor. So we're just going to go through and just like we did before, we're leaving some of the two greens that we already put down 
and just getting those edges and those raised areas. Then we're taking some sun yellow and we're going to do the same thing with our yellow here, but we're just going to leave that orange bit that the Fugan Orange left just at the uh, corners and recesses. We'll also use it to highlight back up those yellow uh, parts of the jetpack. And we're going to take bloody red and we're doing the same thing with the red parts. So we're just adding our highlights here on the raised parts and leaving those original colors and the wash in the recesses. We're going to take some chain mail silver. Now this is going to go on the uh, whistling bird launcher on his wrist. Um, it's going to go on some of these other parts on his wrist guard and the hoses that are connected to that wrist guard. It's going to go on uh, the antenna stand and also the metal parts of the Gatfi stick. We're going to take some Lilith yellow and this is going to go on the side of the helmet underneath the antenna. This is a new color that's not on the original uh, model, I don't think. We're going to take some hardened leather. Now this is going to go on the strap around his leg and he's got a pouch on his leg as well. And it's also going to go on his belt. And we're going to take some dark wood and this is going on all the wooden parts of the gaffy stick. And we're going to switch over to some glorious gold and this is just going to go on his belt buckle. Apparently, if you uh, get sucked into the Sarlacc, uh, when you come out, you feel like more of a fancy gentleman. Because the Boba Fett I know was uh, dirty and uh, beat up and his armor was painted just with scratches. It looks like it's painted with scratches. But yes, if you spend time in the Sarlacc pit, you come out feeling a little bit more, uh, a little bit more uh, fancy. And we're gonna take some Nasdrag yellow, and that's just gonna go on that new part of the uh, helmet there. Like that color wasn't on the original helmet. I think that is a whole new thing. And we're gonna take some Nuln oil, and this is gonna be used to wash down all the metal parts. Now, just so you know, this isn't actually Nuln oil. This is uh, black wash that I made using flow improver matte medium water and black ink so it works just as well as the old formula of null oil which i mean you can't get anymore but this is a really good alternative if you're looking for that and we're going to take some black templar and this is just going to go on the tip of his antenna And we're going to switch back to that Lilith yellow and highlight up that color. We're going to take some Parasite Brown. Now this is going to go on the rock that he's standing on. And um, just want to coat that in that Parasite Brown. And then we're going to take some other rocks and glue them on the base. And put the Parasite Brown on them as well. Then I'm going to just take some dark blue. Now this isn't part of the color scheme at all, but I just wanted to fill in this little uh, strip on the back of his helmet with something different. Take some desert sand earth texture here and put this all over the base where we didn't put the rocks. And we're going to take some Agarov's Dunes, and this is going to go all over, so on the rocks and on that basing paste that we used. We're going to take some Wasteland Tufts by the Army Painter, and we're just going to put a couple of those on with some super glue, just for some added interest. Put a black rim around the base, and this guy is done. Now, we could be done. But you watch the book of Boba Fett, I watch the book of Boba Fett, and guess who's always hanging out with Boba Fett? 
the lady. Nah, I'm just joking. Fennec Shan. So I got an STL from Darkfire Designs and I printed that up and we're gonna paint it right now. So this video is two for one. Two for one crime lords. So we give her a spray black and we give her the Xenothal white from above, um, just like we've been doing everything and we move on to our Grave Lord Grey. Now, luckily she is mostly this color. Um, we're gonna be putting this over pretty much the entire miniature, except for a couple spots on her uh, on her bum skirt and uh, the top of her helmet. Throw that in there because my frequent watchers know that I call uh, skirts bum skirts instead of just skirts. I, I don't know why it's a problem that I have. We're going to switch over to some Black Templar, and this is going to go on her rifle. We're going to switch over to some Fire Giant Orange. Now, this is a really nice orange and pretty close to what we're looking for. So it's going all over the top of the helmet and the two triangles we left off her, her skirt. So again, I looked at a lot of reference photos to find out exactly how to paint her. We're going to take some hardened leather and we're just going to use this on the strap of her uh, rifle here. Now I think in the show the strap is actually black, but we it was already so dark we had to add in a little more color. We're going to take some chain mail silver here and this is just going to go on the straps holding on the rifle and her belt buckle. Next, we're going to take some orange fire. Now, this is going to be used to highlight up all the uh, ridges that she has on her. So she's got a lot of these little ridges. And if you actually look at the costume, they've all been stitched in with orange. So we're just going to go through very carefully and gently and highlight up all these little pieces. Once that is done, we're going to do the basing the same way that we did Boba, and she is done. And as quick paint schemes and easy color schemes go, this was a lot of fun to paint. Very easy, very quick, and the sculpt is awesome. But more importantly, here is the man. Here is Boba Fett. He is the crime lord of Mos Espa. He has taken over for Jabba, and I am really really happy with how he turned out i really wanted that armor to pop and everything else to kind of fade into the background really happy with how he worked out if you were looking to get that stl from dark fire design i will put a link in the description below i rushed as fast as i could to paint this guy and get this video edited so it come out on release day i ignored my family as much as possible you're welcome Honestly, I'm really happy with how this figure turned out. Um, I'm really happy with the pose that they chose to use. Like, if this is an indication of what a fully designed Atomic Mass Games Star Wars Legion miniature is going to be, I'm all for it. There is one thing, though. He seems to be a little bigger than some of the other miniatures. And I don't know if there's a bit of size creep there or not, but it doesn't matter. He's super cool. I'm very happy with it. Please remember to go back and give a watch to our terrain video. We are giving that terrain away. So all you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on the video and I'll be drawing a winner on December 26th and we'll send it out to you anywhere in the world. I hope it's not too far because it's, it's pricey. Either way guys, Thank you so much for watching. We will still have a video coming out every Monday. This is just an extra one. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all of the YouTube stuff. And you guys have a great day. So, the new Boba Fett miniature for Star Wars Legion. 
So the new Boba Fett miniature for Star Wars Legion came out today, and I've got it painted and edited video and ready to go, and let's do it, blah, 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 blah. 